What an exciting evening to be at the Hall of Fame dinner. I want to say personally to Peter uh, that we are so excited for you to have this wonderful award. We're obviously not here because we're at a family wedding, but your sons and your daughter-in-law and your new ba grandbaby all are so excited for you, Peter. Congratulations, Dad. We are so very proud of you. Uh, we, we love you, and we're, we're sorry we couldn't make it this evening, but we wanted to make this video on such a special night. Uh, McQuaid is honoring you, a, a school that uh, means so much to you, so we're very excited. Congratulations. Dad, you know this award seems really symbolic of three things you've really valued in life and kind of passed on to your family, um, and that is education, family, and the church. Um, I think it really just shows that, you know, just talk about these things, but you, you walk the walk. Pete, you've been such an amazing father-in-law, and you've been so encouraging to us to help motivate us uh, and carry us through some of the hardest times with our education, our profession. Just want to thank you so much. And uh, we're excited that you're going to be able to do the same for Isabel and all you've done for all the children on the place. We love you. Honesty, integrity, generosity, self-sacrifice, committed to doing the right thing for the students of McCoy Jesuit. Maybe the smartest guy in the room, but doesn't act like the smartest guy in the room. I mean, he was always open to um, collaboration and bringing other people in to make major decisions. He doesn't put himself first. He really wants to listen, and not always to me. But <laughs> what made him a great leader and um, chair of the board was that he was a great listener. He always looked for, for others for advice in terms of uh, making major decisions and, uh, and for guidance. He was a man of vision uh, and saw what was necessary to improve McQuaid. And not only did he have the vision, but he also had the energy and the dedication and the devotion that made that vision happen. I think for Peter that it was one, it is, has been, one of the best experiences because it's such a functioning group. Everyone comes ready to do something for the school, not necessarily for their own benefit. Being able to see through the strategic plans, the growth of adding sixth grade, uh, putting two presidents in place, and now putting the science and technology building was being talked about for the last four or five years and see that come to fruition, it's a pretty good legacy. I think of Peter then and now as a friend. And for me, a friend is someone who shares the same values as I do and as McQuaid does. And I think that's what made Peter such a tremendously fine chair of the board. Great chairman and uh, someone that we will always cherish for his leadership and uh, he's not off the hook yet because he continues on as, uh, as an honorary chair as well.